G'day, I'm Guy from Jackson's 4x4 and this is Kevin's brand new 76 series Land Cruiser. We've just finished a build on this one. It's got a variety of different modifications and upgrades. It's turned out really well. I'm gonna take you through the build and give you a breakdown of all the bits and pieces we've done. So I'll start with the performance package. As most of you know, the 70 series is a little bit underwhelming from factory in the power department. With a few basic modifications and a good tune, these can see huge improvements. I'll pop the bonnet and we'll go through it. We've fitted up a set of bonnet struts to this one too, which make life a little bit easier when opening the bonnet. So over here, we've got the Safari Armax snorkel, which is a full four inch snorkel, four inch intake through to our factory airbox. They've got a little modification to the intake to make sure we retain that four inch intake right from the top, right through to the airbox. These are also fully sealed from dust and water. So if you are doing any water crossings or if you're in dusty environment, it's gonna help keep your engine nice and healthy. We've got the replacement intercooler from DPU. These are an exchange cooler. They use all of the factory mounting locations and end tanks, and they just feature an upgraded core. This is a more efficient core, which helps with power increase, and also we see improvements in heat soak. So if you're doing any slow fall drive work, or you're on the beach, or you're towing up a windy, uh, steep incline, that's where you'll see big improvements, because without that massive airflow, you need a more efficient core to make sure you don't get the heat soak. We've got a three and a half inch DPF back stainless steel exhaust system. And to handle the extra power and torque, we've got an NPC 1300 clutch and flywheel package. Once all of these parts are fitted, we get the car on the dyno and we do a dyno tune to calibrate the vehicle and get the most out of it whilst keeping it safe and reliable. This one turned out really well. We saw gains of between 50 and 60 kilowatts through the mid range. And we also got a gain of 300 Newton meters, just under 2000 RPM. It's not always about the peak numbers. It's in that mid range where you're driving the car every day that you're gonna notice the biggest difference out on the road. And I can tell you this one drives great after a tune and we should see some pretty good improvements in fuel economy. In the engine bay, we've also fitted up the Direction Plus fuel filter and the Marks full wheel drive catch can kit, which uses the Provent 200 catch can. Moving on to our bar work, we've got the ARB large tube deluxe bar in the nice matte black finish We've got a pair of steady driving lights and we've got a rumble winch. Underneath, we've got the ARB rated recovery point and the ARB radiator protection plate. The radiator protection plate is something we fit with pretty much all of these bars. It gives our radiator some good protection, but it also helps to keep grass seeds and prickles and stuff like that from blocking your radiator and your aircon condenser. We've got the GME UHF aerial up here. And then moving around to the side, we've got the ARB Summit side steps. These have the Lion X tread plate coating, something we do in house to give it a little bit of a, um, additional grip. They are durable, so it lasts a long time and they look really neat as well. But as I said, the grip is the main thing. When you're getting in and out of the vehicle, those tread plates can be really slippery, especially if it's wet or slimy. So that gives us the additional grip to make sure you're not gonna slip over. Let's check out the cargo area in the back. So in here, Kevin's gone with the ARB twin full height drawer system. So we've got two full storage drawers. We've got the slide out table here on the driver's side for preparing our food and a little bit of a storage compartment. We've got the ARB uh, cargo barrier with top shelf and center divider. This helps to break the cargo area up and make our storage a little bit more useful with um, really good tie down points on the mesh and obviously slots to put things. Some open storage on the driver's side here for our bigger bulkier items. And then on the passenger side, we've got the Clearview Easy Slide with the ARB 47 litre fridge freezer. These come out and drop down for ease of access. Under here, in the wing panel, we've got a dual battery system. This has the Revolution Power Lithium batteries. This is all um, powered with the uh, Victron battery monitor. So the battery monitor keeps an eye on everything. We can see what power is going in or out. We can look up history and as per uh, the screen, we can see it's currently at 100%. We've got the Red Arc inverter back there, which is a 700 watt inverter with the remote on off. We've got some power outlets and we've also got some switches here for some interior lighting that we fitted up in the back. That way, if we're uh, working at night time, getting our storage uh, in and out or preparing food, we can see what we're doing. We'll pop around to the interior and we'll go through a few other bits and pieces. So with this one, we started with our full sound deadening package. We stripped the interior, take everything out, install all of the Dynamat sound deadening. 
which helps to get rid of a lot of road noise from um, just you know general tyre noise, exhaust, wind, that sort of thing. Helps to keep the cabin a little bit more insulated and it provides a much better driving experience. Then as we're fitting it all back together, underneath the driver's seat we've got a cruiser console storage compartment and under the passenger seat we've got the twin compressor system. This is an ARB twin compressor mounted up on the XTR 4x4 accessories bracket. A neat little system that uses the cavity under the seat to give us a great option if we're trying to inflate our tyres or we might be blowing out the air filter or anything else you may need to do with an air system. In the centre here, we've got the cruiser consoles, full length uh, centre console with gear sticks around. This gives us a couple of coin trays. We've got some power outlets up the front. We've got uh, two cup holders and then a nice padded armrest with bulk storage in the centre here and a separate little tray for all of your bits and pieces. Up the top, we've got the cruiser consoles roof console, a couple of big storage compartments. We've got our LED touch lights and we've also got the GME TX4500 mounted up there, which is hooked up to the aerial on the uh, bull bar. Um, underneath, we've got a few other bits and pieces. So come around the back and I'll show you what we've got. <coughs> so we've got the Brown Davis fuel tank. This is a replacement long range tank. So we take the factory tank here, and we replace it with this tank to give some additional fuel storage. We've got the J-Max diff housing. This is a track correcting diff housing. So we take the factory housing out, all of the internals of the diff, such as the crown wheel, the pinion, the diff center, all gets refitted into the J-Max diff and it gets fitted up on the car. We've now got the same track front and rear. We've got a heavier duty diff housing that's physically stronger, but it's also rated at those higher axle capacities if you're looking to do a big GVM upgrade. You can see the torqued exhaust system there, which I mentioned in the power package. Um, and now I'll take you up the front and show you through some of the other suspension mods. So to go with our J-Max diff housing, we've also got the J-Max radius arms. These are a billet radius arm. We fit those up to correct the caster. So when we're doing a suspension lift on these solid axle vehicles, we are losing caster. So by putting a new radius arm in with caster correction, it allows us not only to gain the caster back that we lost with doing the lift, but we can also get a little bit more to make it drive better than it did from factory. On this one, we've fitted up a set of J-Max braided brake lines and the J-Max booster. So that combo of parts from J-Max gives us a great improvement in the braking capability of the vehicle, which is really important when we're adding weight, we're putting bigger tires on, we're potentially towing, because all those things are gonna have a negative impact on the factory braking system. For suspension, in terms of springs and shocks, we've got a full suspension system from Old Man Emu with the BP51 remote res shocks. These are remote res shock with separate rebound and compression adjustment. So you can fine tune the ride comfort and the handling based on your driving style, the conditions that you're in, the weight that you're carrying, etc. A couple of other things to note, we've got the ARV driveline breathers. So mounted here in the corner, this gives us um, a breather or a raised breather for our front and rear diffs, the transmission and the transfer case. So if we're crossing um, any rivers or driving through water that is quite deep, we've now got that raised breather to make sure we don't have any water ingress. We've also fitted one of the rapid power 250 amp alternators in there as well to take care of all of our additional power needs. That's about it for the build on this one. Um, well, actually we do have rims and tires. So we've got the steel rims on this one. They are the dynamic steelies, a 16 by eight. And we've fitted up the Mickey Thompson Legend EXP tires as well. A good value for money all terrain, not our premium AT um, from Mickey Thompson, the Baja boss, but not a cheap and nasty tire either. Just a good value for money mid-range option. Hopefully you like what you've seen. The build turned out really nice. It looks good. We know Kevin's going to love it. So if you did like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, turn on that notification bell and keep an eye out for the next one. If you do have any questions or you're interested in a build yourself, feel free to jump on our website, have a look around check out our social media, or obviously you can come into our store, ring up the boys and have a chat. Thanks for watching and we hope you have a great day.